What? Welcome to Taco Tuesday in Shemwa, or I don't know the Spanish word, but anyway, uh, what's the Spanish word? I got Tori on the side. That's my audience today, and my beautiful cat on the next to it. But anyway, I want to introduce you something that's special in our house since our kids used to live with us. We used to have Taco Tuesday. And what I decided is that this is going to go a little bit longer tonight, but I'm going to show you some scrumptious things like my my version of refried beans, green rice. Now, there's a story about green eggs and ham, but that's not this place to tell that story. This story's making a face on the other side. But so I'm going to make homemade taco meat, uh, green uh, cilantro rice, and black beans that are refried. Uh, so because I want to talk about the consciousness of cooking, I'm going to introduce some things we've asked the skillets to get hot. Some things that I think you might want to know. First thing, this is top grade, you can see this, beef, okay? Tori and I buy this from a local farmer and it's a lot better than beef that you buy from abroad. Uh, one, we know the farmer, it's sustainable because it's supporting the farm in Oregon. Uh, the quality of meat is a lot better. And when I talk about consciousness, Consciousness is where you're aware of everything and judging nothing. And I say that because what would it be like if we start participating in our living? And that means you're going to actually be more aware about what you put in your body. You're going to actually have a conversation with your body about what does your body desire. And so I have some ingredients that Tori and I have switched from because we're trying to stay out of gluten. And we're trying to be a little more conscious. But I'm going to let you know, I have some organic bacon fat that are rendered when I'm cooking bacon. So I'm going to start with my beans. I'm going to go into other stories after because it's getting hot. So what I do is I take these beans. I'll let these refry a little bit in bacon fat. Uh, come back to this and leave this here. So I'm going to let these cook down a little bit. So what happened is that when you start to cook, you can actually get very creative because these beans were cooked probably about three weeks ago. Now, no, they didn't sit in the refrigerator. They have a shelf life about three days in the fridge. And then we put them in containers and freeze them. So when we have Taco Tuesday, voila, we cook the beans down. I'm going to mash them up because they've already been seasoned. And we'll have uh, the black beans as a side. Let's see this here. So we'll let that cook down a little bit. And over here, Oh, the other thing I want to talk about being conscious is in the kitchen. See these handles? If they're sticking out to the side and you bump into it and it flies off, that could get really ugly. So when you're in the kitchen and you're having fun, you always have to be conscious about what's going on in your, on your stove. So uh, are there any questions? No questions yet. Uh, the rice. So when I cook the rice, now I free pour. And it's not alcohol, but it's oil. This is grapeseed oil. I'm going to use that to brown the rice. So I put about three tablespoons. Make sure it's really warm for the rice in there. I am going to continue to stir this. And if you can see it, it's actually beginning to turn like pale white, like not rice white, but pale white. And when it's totally pale white and it starts to turn, start to turn golden brown, I'll add some liquid. But before I do that, I'll add some onion. Now make sure my beans are going well. 
Oh, I have somebody out there. Any questions? Carm, how you doing? So, so why do we cook? Because Tori and I are spoiled by my cooking. We've gone to restaurants, and it's the quality of food there is not always the greatest. And sometimes you leave a restaurant, and I like I'm very particular. I'm like, man, I spent all this money. Where do you get grapeseed oil? Oh, okay, Gina. So grapeseed oil is usually, so this is, I have a friend that's living with us right now, and we are very particular in the oils we use. A lot of times I either use olive oil or grapeseed oil, uh, usually organic, something that's low heat so it won't smoke as much because I do not want things to smoke. So as this brown, this rice starts to brown, and you can see it. Can you see that? Taco Tuesdays. As soon as it browns, what I'm gonna do, as this garlic and onions. So, uh, Why organic? The less chemicals you put in your body, the better. Uh, we've been spoiled on this side of the country because we have a lot of stores to sell organic vegetables and uh, fruits and meat that doesn't have a lot of hormones in it. And what happens, the body is a lot more appreciative about it. Now, you don't have to be a total butthead about it, but if you're a little bit more conscious about what you put in your body, your body might be a lot happier. Plus, those of you who drink wine or alcohol and you prefer better alcohol than wine, the same thing goes for produce and animals. The reason we bought this, this beef is that we were trying to find meat that was going to be a lot more healthier and a place where the cows were going to be treated fairly well. Okay, now I got this kind of hot. Let me turn it down. Don't want to burn it. So this is roughly about three cups of water. I will continue to add water as this rice cooks down. Oh, I have a disaster going on my hand. So when things like that happen, pull it off to the side, let it cool down a little bit, continue to stir it. Add this back. Now my beans are boiling. You see that? Well, uh, okay. okay. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch this fill it out. Take this, and I begin to mash or mash. I like smashing things, but mashing the beans. And guess what, guys? My beans are ready. From the top, turn the eye off. Slide it halfway over. Almost ready for the beef. So, put this rice together for you. So, what I put in here was a half a chopped oven and two cloves of garlic. And I'll let that slowly cook. I'm at about four tables, teaspoons of green chili. It's called green rice. So you see that? I'm gonna add a little bit more chili. The six. So the green chilies, usually when we make white rice, we were using uh, red salsa. But what I decided to do is just want to try something different because I have a friend of mine about seven years ago had me over for dinner. And she created this green rice. And I was in love with it. So I decided I was going to share with you. So the other ingredient that goes in here is a heaping teaspoon of chicken broth. So what I do is I like better than bouillon. There's this organic. There's no chemicals in it. The taste is like, oh, my God. It's not as salty as regular chicken bouillon. 
And then what I also add is a teaspoon of garlic. So I have fresh garlic and onion and the, and the rice. Okay. And it's not going to be that spicy because these are mild green chilies. And some people in my house don't like heat. So we're going to we want to make her happy too because she wants to eat dinner. Isn't that right? She's shaking her head over there. Yes. Okay. So here's my other secret. I taste along the way. Warning. Never put the same spoon back in the pot that you're eating out of. That saliva in your mouth starts to break down the food and it can make people other people sick. And you need to wash your hands. I washed my hands before I came on, but that's the other piece that's really important. Because a lot of times when you go to restaurants and you get food poison, it's usually not the food. It's that person. Gross. What's this? It's very good. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of cumin, like a fourth teaspoon of cumin. Yeah. We don't need any salt. I'm a garlic thing, so I put a teaspoon of garlic bouillon. I put some garlic in there, and I am going to put about a half a teaspoon of garlic. Now what you want to do is make sure you turn this down pretty low. Stirring. Now, there's one more ingredient in here that my wife, but you can't taste it because it cooks down. Veronica, what's up? How you doing, sister? JJ, you know gourmet tacos, my brother. I'm in my kitchen. Now, JJ ate my food before. Christine, what's up? Hey! Thanks for showing love. You guys got to come to the house and eat. Damn, what's up? Happy New Year's. So, yeah, this is one of my loves. Usually, Tori's not on the side of the camera because when I'm really in the kitchen and I'm creating, I'm in my head. And I'm actually tasting the food before I'm actually, it's done. So she gets spoiled with my food. I'm going to turn it down. That's slow. Can you see this? I want to spill it. Okay. So, uh, and as you can see, the beans are done. Okay. Secret. When you first get started, we buy where they go oh. local tortillas, uh, GM, GMO free, no chemicals. Tastes better. Your body likes it. You're supporting local farmers, local business. Shop local if you can. It really helps contribute to your community, and so we're very mindful about that. Also, we grows a lot of our things in the backyard. Like for Christmas, we had the best greens that came out of the backyard. But you have to live in an area that's stuck and grow beyond the season. And what else? What am I doing next? Oh, so next, cilantro. Now I want to cook it down because she doesn't like it. So it'll disappear pretty much. So see, it's green. I probably will add some more water along the way. Green rice. Let's see. I love to cook with you in the kitchen. Yes, Christine. When are you going to bring your butt here? Or I got to come up to Canada. Uh, Estella, yum. I know. You want some? I'll bring you some tomorrow. I'm coming to the office tomorrow. Okay. She can also cook. Well, actually, her dad, Stella can make the best. Her dad makes the best rice pudding that I ever had. She brought, when we first started working years ago, she said, John, you like rice pudding? And I was like, look at this guy. I love fucking rice pudding. And it, and then I got to meet her dad. And I was like, oh, my God, that's orgasmic. Hence, orgasmic conscious cooking. So the rice is a slow process. It's slowly absorbing the, the warm water. And when it's... It's not a dente, but when it's soft and not crunchy, it's ready. My wife doesn't like crunchy rice, so I add more water, so she's not upset. She's laughing on the other side. You guys can't hear her. Can you hear her? Anyway, what else? 
us. Uh, okay, we're we'll gonna start with the meat. So I talked about the tortillas. They're in the oven, and you, I put them on 200. So they're nice and warm. So I put them in aluminum foil, take some water in my hand, and sprinkle. Put it in the oven, 200. I'm gonna turn it off now, because all you want them to just warm up. You don't want them to get hard, because if you want tortilla chips, where are tortilla chips? Okay, I'm ready. For these. So. The best tortilla chips. Now, somebody on YouTube should show me some love, but these are the best tortilla chips on the planet. They're made in Hood River, Oregon, and you, they don't get any better. Now, the oils aren't the greatest because I looked at some of the oil, but the taste, oh my God, you can't, you can't miss. Okay, so we're gonna start with the taco meat. We're gonna turn this up to medium high. Keep the eye on your rice. Because when the liquid starts to run, it'll start to stick and burn. You don't want that to happen. That's not a good thing. That's not very beautiful. Let's see. Yeah. Can I see that on there? Okay. But yeah. So why do I cook? I have been working for 31 years at the juvenile court as a probation officer. And it's been my greatest relief. Um, Plus, I like to see people smile when they eat my food. So I spend a lot of time. Sometimes as I'm crossing 205 from Oregon into Washington, I'm actually contemplating what am I going to create. A lot of times I like Tori to take things out the freezer and tell me what she got out. And as I'm driving home, I start to turn into a rim rant. And I get concepts. Little sugar plums dancing in my head. No, just kidding. Uh, but I've been cooking all my life, thanks to my mom, Pamela Ashford. She has been a huge influence on in my cooking. Okay. Let's see what this tastes like. Is the rice ready? Just a little bit more time. Watch her. Out the way. So those are my favorite tortillas. Yes, uh, when we were working, I get. I think I have to give some love. Deborah Mead was the first person to bring it because she knew this is a coworker of ours. She actually knows the family that started this company. And when she brought them, I was like, oh, okay, tortilla chips. Tortilla. Man, I taste that. I was like, oh my god. Move this water so I don't burn myself. Carla Taylor, what's up? Taco Tuesday looks sound delicious. Thank you. You should taste it. Come on by. We have a little extra. So the meat. Going back. So there's either olive oil or grapeseed oil. This one doesn't smoke as much as olive oil, grapeseed oil. Uh, I prefer the taste of olive oil. And most people are like, can you tell the difference? When you get a chance, go to your kitchen and try the different oils and see what they taste like. You will find out that even animal fat has a flavor. Check this out. Animal fat also makes the best flaky crust for pies, but it's not that good for the heart. But grapeseed oil actually is oil that's pretty decent for the heart. I'm not going to put a lot in here, but, but I'm going to show you the difference with our ground beef. Because it's not a lot of fat in our ground beef. So I want it not to stick. So I put that in there when it's nice and warm. So I want you to see this. I can't get too close with this, okay? But this beef has not very many white flakes, which says, guess what? It's not much fat. It's lean ground beef. So healthy heart. I almost messed this up. So I have, oh, I want to show you this. So in the last month, I've been on my kick with Thai chilies. Now I know we're talking about Mexican food, but we have this Thai chili. Last night, we were eating, and my dear wife, I made it big pieces for her so she doesn't bite down on something that's so small and jump up off the table like, oh! you should have seen her in Spain. So this is garlic, pepper, and onion. 
I'm going to saute that. Buy my rice. Yeah, oh, so, oh, the, so the apron. If you want to buy and support Savanti, I'm show, selling the t shirts for $25. $5 of the shirt will go back to Savanti, which is a local program that support African American men and domestic violence classes and fatherhood. So they're actually trying to get the, their children back. And my buddy, oh, okay. Tori told me to say I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, I got to get some tape on the floor. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Loris Harvey actually came up with this design. I came up with the concept of be the interrupt of this reality. Twyla, what's up, sister? Uh, and you can buy these shirts. And I did this because what happens when you're the interrupt of this reality? People talk about our president, politics, things going on across the planet. What can you be and do that would create another reality that would interrupt this reality? I invite you to that space. So, you should see this. So, the onions, the peppers are like strong. I'm surprised Tori's still on the other side because she doesn't like onions. So I make them big pieces. So when you have a person in your house, you're like, I don't like onions. What you do is make big pieces so they can pick it out. You don't not put it in there because your stuff will be flavorless. And I can't live with flavorless. I'm full of flavor. Big Daddy John. <laughs> like I said, I love cooking. Okay, now, my onions are starting to brown. The peppers are blistering. And they're big peppers. Remember, because you might have kids that don't like hot stuff. So, I have this on medium high. High. So, let that cook up a little bit. Now I'm going to start with my seasoning. So, I use mild chili powder. Let's see. I wish I had the aroma of this. Yeah, Carl, I wish you did. So much fun. Taco. Man. Well, Tali, you've been here before, but you got to come back. Please come back and see me. And I'll share a lot more. So, what I'm going to do is take two teaspoons. Or two, not three. Don't look. Don't tell anybody. What was that? That was chili powder. Mild chili powder. They have medium, mild, I mean, mild, medium, and hot. Somebody on the other side of the camera cannot do hot. So we do mild. You get mild. Grand Lady Garlic. Cumin, a teaspoon. I'm gonna tell you a secret. You could cheat. Probably, I will definitely, yes, yes, yes. And what I do is I'm gonna put a teaspoon of Lori's seasoning. Now, some people say, would you put more or less? You could always add salt, but you can't take salt out. So what I will do is always start off on this side, because you can always add salt later. You don't want to put your salt. Because you have faces like, oh my God. This is my ready. So now I'm gonna turn that off. Put the top on it. Move it to the side. And voila. Get this off the way. So now things are cooking up. Yeah, I'm just checking out my question. Love you, John. You're the best. Yeah, thank you. Make me feel so good in the kitchen. I'm just going to stir this up. It's up. I wonder what Bobby Flay think about this. No, I'm just kidding. Because if I ever had to face him, I'm like, oh, my God. What if you walk through the door? How would it get better than that? I would probably poop myself. 
That would not be nice in the kitchen. First, making a face on the side. But Bobby Flay is one of my favorite. But actually, the crew on the kitchen would actually be my heart desire. To have them in the kitchen to cook with them or be on their show for a night or for an episode, that would be like one of my bucket lists. So if anybody out there can make that happen, hint, hint, wink, wink, this is what that looks like. So you cook, I turn the ground beef up on high because you don't want to slow and steam meat. You actually want to cook it and turn it off. So remember I told you there was a cheat? So when you go to the grocery store, they have packets by this company. I can't remember what it is. It's not called McCormick. It's McCormick. You can take those packets and put it in, but it has a lot of additives in there. Why? You just saw me put in one, two, three, four ingredients, and I have taco flavoring for my ground beef. So you can be a hat, but why hat when you can have orgasmic cooking? And follow John in the kitchen with all the orgasmic food. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, there's a friend of mine in Chicago by the name of Gino. He used to cook. I don't know if he cooks now, but when we were in college. We were at his grandmother's house. He cooked. I was kind of shocked. I didn't know half pint could cook like that. <laughs> he forgot about that trip. Okay, so ground beef is done. Just that quick. I'm gonna show you. When my wife says, show you orgasmic conscious cooking. This is what it looks like. That's it. And I wish you could smell the aroma. I'm gonna taste it. So you always want to taste because remember, I said you can always add salt, but you can't take salt out. That's not true either. I'm gonna tell you a secret on that in a second. Just one second, let's see. Perfect. If you get a soup and it's kind of salty, and you're like, oh my God, when am I gonna do this? I have guests come in in about an hour, two hours. Take a potato, skin the potato, leave it whole, drop the potato in the soup. The potato turns into a magnet of salt. Pulls the salt out, pull the potato out, hat, no more salty soup. You learn that on conscious cooking, orgasmic conscious cooking with Big Daddy John. Any questions? Okay, I guess we're ready to put together a taco. Let's see. Let me grab some things. My, my wife said, you sure you don't have things fridge? But I have some things that need to stay cold. I'll fix her plate. Maybe she'll forget me. I was out of the screen. Al, what's up? How you doing? What's up? Buddha of Destiny and Namaste. I like that. I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay. So this is another ingredient I made. So I, I like tomatoes. I'm the only person at home on my home that likes tomatoes. So I make, I can I think it's called picante. I think that's what's called. So what this is, is cilantro, green onions, and a tomato chopped up. Nobody in the house will eat it but me. But once again, I don't like packaged ingredients. When I was a kid, uh, my mom never really bought packaged ingredients. So I was spoiled. I was actually really spoiled of cooking things that were homemade. And my wife would tell you they usually taste better. So see how beans are going. Perfect. Everything is nice and warm. Let me grab a plate. Okay. Any questions? That's the that's the my thank you. Pico de Gallo. I hope I'm saying that right. Awesome tip about the potato. Yeah, I learned that from my mama. She told me one time, oh, I said, the soup is salty. She said, drop three potatoes because I know you're heavy on the salt because I'm like my daddy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Tortillas. Like I said, local tortillas, warm in the oven, hot. They're really hot.
That there. This is for later on, so I don't want to get. So the secret too, you don't want to leave it open or they'll dry out in the oven. You might wonder, I have two cheese, right? Real cheddar cheese, goat cheddar cheese. So the other thing that Tori and I have been doing is being a little bit more conscious about dairy. A lot of times as I've gotten older, my body does not like to digest dairy. It does very well with goat cheese. Uh, what's that, Esteban? Salsa Bandera flag. What's that? Oh, you're going to have to hook me up on that. I figure that out. Okay. So, I have this tortilla. That's what it looks like. So, this is for my wife. I'm not going to actually put any of my pico because she'll like, no way. A little cheese. What else did you want on that? What was that? Oh. Some lettuce. Butter. So, okay. There's so many different types of lettuce. Butter lettuce is soft and yummy. Romaine, it's like, has body. You know that iceberg? That iceberg? Don't eat that. There's no nutritional value in that. It actually helps clean out your intestines, but... For the body, the body would prefer this. So I'll put this here, roll this here. She won't get on TV and eat this up, uh, on YouTube, I should say. So rice. Voila, Taco Tuesday in the Ashford household. So now get this. Should I taste it? Yes. Make sure it's okay. I know it's okay, y'all, uh, but look, I'm, no, I'm not. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh ingredients, you can't beat them. So here's the other piece. Well, I came up with this, let me choose this first. When I came up with this idea, conscious cooking, the other piece about conscious is I use viola vegan cheddar cheese. I can't do goat cheese. Yeah. So here's the other piece. And you know, say he can still cook. But you haven't cooked for me. So anyway, I, should, I guess it's here, not there. So sorry about that. So the reason I say conscious cooking is that you can bring people together, and if they desire to cook, they can help you cook. But the most important piece is that you can sit down together and break bread and actually talk about what's really going on in the living. So many people don't have that experience in these rough times. So when I decided to do orgasmic conscious cooking, part of being orgasmic is the way you live. I know the people with the dirty mind would think about, oh, orgasmic is just about sex. Actually, that's the least of it. Orgasmic is an abundant way of living and being creative. So what would it be like that if we welcome people into our kitchen on Taco Tuesday and had them share and break bread with us? And on that note, until next week, I love you guys. Deuces. Peace. Go to my site. I'm going to have these up here. You can buy these, sh these shirts. I don't have any aprons. I probably can just make this if needed, but I definitely have T-shirts. And you will help a good cause. So vaulty. Tim Logan has been putting a lot of blood and sweat in that in the community and help a lot of brothers out. And so I want to support them. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Until next time, love you. Be orgasmic, be conscious, and cook. Thank you, Sarah. Love you too, sister. Y'all come on back, you hear? I don't know what's going to be a menu next week, but it's going to be yummy. I promise you. Well, I didn't take any questions, I guess. Yes. I think we're still rolling, I guess. So here's about the cheese. There's a hack. I, next time, I'm going to make a, a hack on vegan cheese. Uh, Tori found it on a website. We've been trying to find 
uh, nacho cheese. Can I tell you guys a joke? Do I have enough time to tell you a joke? Thank you, Carla. Give me just a, I'm going to close on this joke. But next week, we're going to do probably nacho cheese. I was going through the store, and I put a lot of stuff in my uh, cart. And a guy came by. He grabbed the cheese out of my cart. I said, that's nacho cheese. Ha, 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 ha. See y'all next week. Peace. Make beef tongue tacos next Tuesday. So, oh, I hey, my wife ain't gonna eat by his tongue. She might kiss my tongue, but she ain't gonna eat no cow tongue. But maybe I can talk her into it. Marquita, what's up? How you doing? Yummy. She's had my food, but I have to have her over for it again because it's been too long. I really love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Next Tuesday, 6:30. Hey.